morning guys I just want to start out this video by just saying a huge thank you to every single one of you that has reached out to me on YouTube or Instagram or by email or video messages just um, encouraging me so much with your words and your thoughts and your prayers on my last video and the reason I haven't responded to each of you is because I've just been so overwhelmed with gratitude <laughs> and I just I have no words and I don't want to even cheapen it or you know have it be a disservice to you guys by sitting there and just saying thank you you know over and over and over again and trying to think of different ways to say thank you but just please know that I have read every one of your comments I've read them multiple times and it's seriously been what has gotten me through the last couple of days especially that rough day that I was having it honestly probably kills me more than any of you when I don't respond to comments because I know what it takes to you know carve out time and sit there and like write such a thoughtful response so I don't want you guys to think that I just read it and just shrugged it off it, every single message has been deeply engraved into my heart and I'm extremely grateful for you guys so that's number one you guys are my number one and number two i am filming on a new camera today and i feel like the the angles are wider so i feel like you guys see more of this i usually have my camera turned this way because i don't know i just feel like i don't really like how that looks <laughs> but anyway i'm just testing it out i shared this on instagram a few days ago but if you are not on instagram or you haven't seen that post i actually was able to afford this camera um, after like months and months of saving up the earnings that I'm making from YouTube. It's like very little a month, so it took quite a long time. This is the camera that we got. It's the Canon G7X Mark II, and I think it came out maybe earlier this year. And I know a bunch of people on YouTube already use the Canon G7X and I've just always been very enamored by the quality. I did notice though because we took it took this camera out with us this weekend to vlog um, and the sound quality is not as good as the my previous camera which is the Sony RX 100M3. I use this for everything everything if i'm not using that i'm using my iphone and that's because i don't have a choice like my you know my dance vlogs i'm using my iphone because they don't let you take cameras in there i'm using the beauty counter tint skin today and i have been freaking loving this these past few days it's very light in coverage and i just was thinking of staying away from it because I can afford the extra coverage these days but it's fantastic i just give it a, a little bit of time to just get used to mixing with my the natural oils on my face and it just it looks perfect okay not perfect <laughs> it looks very very natural i hope you guys had a great weekend and for those of you that celebrate father's day um i hope it was a good one our weekend was um very interesting to say the least on saturday uh, we went out on a double date night with chad and gail oh man like every time i see them <laughs> it's funny i don't even think i told gail this but when we double date after i found out the news about them moving to china like i see gail and then i like avoid making eye contact with her or like deeply engaging with her in the beginning because i'm afraid i'm gonna start crying i don't even know if gail feels this but i have been kind of just feeling awkward a little bit and then obviously it, it, things get better it's just becoming more real that you know the time is really ticking on their on the days they have left in korea so on saturday we brought out the camera to test it out like in the wild i was curious about like the audio and stuff so we actually vlogged the entire double date night and I'm going to share that footage on Thursday. I just want to share what a night out with them feels like. You know, just great conversations. I'm going to do my best so that nothing seems too out of context. Like there aren't too many inside jokes or something annoying like that. But 
I, I'm, I think it's gonna be a pretty lengthy video just because I want to share it with you guys but at the same time it's for us and I want to preserve as much of that night as possible and then on Sunday morning Brandon suggested that we work out together and we haven't done that in a long time and it's usually because I'm the one that doesn't want to like just work out period I figured I could probably use a break from editing we went outside and we jogged for about like 10-15 minutes and we found this little park woodsy trail thing usually in Korean parks there are there's always like an outdoor workout area like they have different like machines that you can use and Brandon remembered seeing like a set of pull-up bars so he was going to program a little work workout for us there we as we were exploring the area we couldn't find any pull-up bars so we just did a quick jog and then we came home and he programmed a partner workout for us and it was so so much fun we had such a blast we just did it right here in the living room and the workout that we did it's called Cindy it's a CrossFit workout but we did a modified version of it I did kettlebell rows Brandon did dumbbell rows um, and then it was push-ups and squats it's a partner workout because there's a set number that you need to do each round but then we split it up actually Brandon took more than me so I did less than he did and then we did that for nine rounds nine or ten rounds so I would do my set of the kettlebell rows and he helped me with the push-ups and then I did the squats and then as soon as I was done he went so we were just like cheering each other on yelling and you know shouting <laughs> and um yeah we did he made little marks on the whiteboard so i was like erasing it as we went it was amazing like he kept talking about it like all day on sunday about how happy he was that we did that together and how he wouldn't have pushed himself as hard if he was just working out by himself which he usually does like he'll just stick you know earphones in and like program a workout for himself and just do it while i'm doing other things but yeah it was it was really fun I didn't think I would have as much fun as I did. We just finished working out and I was getting ready to make us some food because we hadn't eaten. As soon as I stepped in the kitchen, I Brandon got a phone call and he just looked pale in the face and I just overheard him saying that he could be there in 15 minutes and uh, that he would call an ambulance right away. So I'm like, what the, what happened? Who is he talking to? I'm kind of freaking out. It turns out that the phone call was from Chad. So their second child, Noah, had a huge heavy bookcase like fall on his head and there was just so much blood. Um, so Brandon and I like called an ambulance. We like just in our sweaty, nasty stuff, like just hopped in the car and we like raced over to their house the ambulance got there like just like maybe three or four minutes after we called um gail was like on the floor like she couldn't get up because she was like so weak in the knees and um it was just it was just crazy so brandon dropped me off i stayed with gail and the other kids brandon went over to the hospital to be with chad and noah and just um eventually you know gail and i made our way to the hospital and thank god noah was such a trooper oh he was so brave and you know i'm sure chad had a lot to do with it because he's just like a fantastic like coach and mentor and i'm sure he was like keeping noah super strong during the whole thing but yeah he needs a bunch of stitches um they've sent us pictures of the gash and it was just crazy like oh like i can't imagine how terrified gail and chad must have felt because i don't think they'd ever experienced something like that and thank god it didn't happen to one of their younger smaller kids noah was able to go home in a few hours and chad and gail sent us pictures of them just like sitting on the couch watching movies and eating popsicles and just made me so happy and the other thing is, um, Gail was telling us that she doesn't do well with blood, especially not when she's pregnant. She gets very faint. And so she uh, came out of their place and she was waiting outside, waiting for the ambulance. But it got to a point where she couldn't stand. So I think she was like in fetal position or like crouching on the floor or something. And when the ambulance arrived, she was like, it's not for me, it's not for me, go inside, go inside. So they went into uh, 
get Noah and put him in the stretcher. Oh man, so that happened. And then immediately after we got home from the hospital, we had to get dressed because it was Father's Day and we're meeting Brandon's parents to take them out for drinks and dinner. Just a whirlwind. <laughs> Everything happened so fast. Father's Day dinner was great. We took our parents to eat like southern barbecue. The restaurant set up to give you that barbecue feel so we were just sitting outdoors on like picnic tables. I have lots of little bits of good news and I'm really fighting myself not to share everything right now because most of them are going, I'm going to go into more depth in future videos. I'm really excited about what this channel is becoming. There are so many things that I want to explore and share. You know, Brandon and I talk about YouTube a lot in our free time. I feel like that's probably one of our most popular conversation topics between the two of us you know he brought up a good point yesterday about like how well-rounded i should keep my channel um in terms of the, the content that i'm creating so right now mondays are like hey i get to just chill and talk to you guys and just hear updates from you and for me to you know share what's going on with me and then tuesdays is I am sharing with the gratitude videos, but at the same time, I am wanting to challenge and inspire people to, you know, like live with an attitude of gratitude and just be really thankful for what's already in all of our lives, right? So it's more like a challenge video. And, you know, Wednesdays, again, it's like just sharing another layer of my life you know my interactions with brandon like our life in korea and then thursdays are just uh, you know a space for me to explore creativity i guess i'm very excited during dinner yesterday i looked over at at my phone and i saw that i hit 7,000 subscribers and it just blows my mind like i can't even sit here and picture a hundred of you but seven thousand what does that feel what does that mean i don't have much time and i need to end this video but i do want to end it with this uh, for me it, it's never about my success is not defined by my number of subscribers like i could really care less about that because for me i would rather have like you know even 20 of you that we can really share and connect on a much deeper level than just you know numbers or a subscriber count so that does not define success for me now one of the things that i asked chelsea uh chelsea from chelsea wears she is a pretty well-known youtuber here when i was in san francisco and i met up with her for dinner and drinks like one of the questions that i asked her was hey how do you get back to all the people that you know leave comments or write you emails like do you do you get overwhelmed and she told me that in the beginning when it was manageable um she was able to get back to more people and uh she told me very honestly she was like you'll get to a point where it's it just will it could be impossible i mean i'm sure if i just decided not to do anything else and just sit here and get back to everything like i'm sure it's not impossible but it will get to a point where she said it's going to be super hard to manage and if i'm completely honest with you that day scares the crap out of me and even talking about this like <laughs> my heart is beating faster and that is because i just value uh i just value the interaction so much and in a way i'm preparing myself if it gets to a point where like i can't get back to every single question that i have to be okay with that and i have to set healthy boundaries for myself and not feel like i'm a failure because i cannot respond to every little thing and the other part of it that i struggle with and though these are a lack of my own boundaries is i hate letting people down it is a huge downfall for me i feel like i'm the kind of person that would quit a job that i know is horrible for me and just feel so apologetic without you know in that moment trying to really see that 
this is not right for me so i need to move on i just typically struggle with carrying a lot of weight on myself i'm learning how to enjoy this process and you know not lose a sense of myself and not lose this connection that i just value so much if you guys if you guys have any tips on how to deal with that um, i would really love to hear that from you guys you know brandon always says like knowing my personality he thinks this is a really good opportunity for me to exercise my boundaries and you know just carve out time in my day like okay from this time to this time is when i will respond to as many things as i can without you know feeling like i'm failing you know and i think he's in his way trying to mentally prepare me for the day where i am just not going to be able to do everything that i want to do to the extent that i want to do it i'm just i'm just thinking out loud and i would just appreciate any kind of insight that i might not be aware of right now all right guys so i have to go blow dry my hair and then i have an appointment that i need to head to but I know I said this a million times. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, whew, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.